What is up, my friends? Let's talk about Servant Episode 4. I missed the recap on Episode 3 last week. Let's just go over what happened. So pretty much they got the idea, Sean, Dorothy, to pretty much do a business in order to sort of find out where exactly Leanne is. They sort of pinpointed to a couple of places and they are pretty sure that they have found the right one at a point. And so they're just like, how are we going to be able to sort of go in there without being like noticeable? So what they end up doing is creating a business, a food business, so that they can sort of deliver there and sort of it's a shot in the dark, basically, because what if they never deliver there and they are delivering everywhere else, but they end up doing this. Uh, by the end of it, they do end up delivering it at the home, and that is where they finally end. And then we find out that Dorothy actually poisoned, well, not poison, right? She pretty much laced it with something that Leanne was going to uh, be tranquilized with and then pretty much got her back into the home with them and that's where we ended episode three and episode four we're starting off with leanne being held captive and sean is pretty much like yeah this isn't right we should we should definitely stop doing this but dorothy she's losing i'm telling you she is out of it at this point um we see sean being compassionate towards leanne as well and trying to sort of figure out a way where she doesn't get hurt as well but he's also like, we do need the baby back because if Dorothy ever were to find out, you don't want to know what she might be able to do to herself. So we need to do that. Leanne's like, no, she's a horrible person. I am not giving her the baby. And pretty much we're in that dilemma right there. However, Dorothy starts to really lose it midway through the episode as she ends up sort of like hurting Leanne at points in the middle of the night because she has this thing where she's waking up at 2 a.m. for some reason and just going at it at Leanne. It gets so bad one night Leanne actually puts one of the mannequins that she is in the room locked up with to pretend that that's her in the bed and as Dorothy gets distracted by this and knocks her on the side of the head with an obsidian of some sort and tries to run out and leave. Sean wakes up to a, his burning hand and then we see Dorothy just standing there after she has just hit Leanne with the obsidian and now she is covered in mud or dirt or whatever. Sean quickly realizes what has just happened is that Dorothy has buried Leanne alive and he goes quickly to unearth her and get her to safety once again and Dorothy's just like it's never too far. So by the end of the episode, we kind of get a idea of why Dorothy is waking up at 2 a.m. And it has to do with baby Jericho and what happened that day, I believe. So pretty much that's where we ended this episode right there. And I thought it was one of the most intense episodes of the whole series itself. It definitely really is laying the groundwork of where we might be headed into next. And I definitely starts to have you question exactly what is the extent that Dorothy will actually go to in order to get what she wants and at this point I think she can go all out and there is no restraint on her honestly because imagine if Sean hadn't woken up to his burning hand what would have happened I'm pretty sure that would have been the end of Leanne for some reason um, the other thing is that Sean gets his taste back as well and I think that has to do with the whole Leanne and him sort of building this relationship. And I think that that's sort of like helping mend things between the two of them. And I think Leanne definitely lifts the curse from him. Also, the burning of his hand makes me think that they are linked in some way now because of this. Maybe after the prayer he did with the uncle in season one. And when she was in danger now, he sort of sensed that as well. So I think that we are definitely going to be seeing more of that be explained in the coming episodes. Because Leanne sort of alluded it to Sean as well by the end of the episode that his hand started burning. So I'm not sure if maybe Sean is now um, like part of the cult itself now and that's why he was able to sense these things as well and is sort of like having this bond with Leanne also or what exactly is going on but the real question is still where is the cult and where is the baby as well and I think that they are definitely knowing that Leanne is trapped at this point and I think that there's um, something larger at play that we haven't known about yet and we're definitely going to get into pretty soon. So I'm pretty sure the next uh, couple of episodes are going to be um, very, very much so insane. 
But I do believe that Dorothy is going to sort of start to suspect what is going on with these sort of like repressed memories that she has and she's getting them in fragments and why she sort of fixated on this 2 a.m. time as well. So I, I don't know what's going to happen exactly, but I do think that we will be getting the cult back as well. I told you, I think that there's going to be an episode that's just going to be focused on the cult itself and the past. And there's going to be something that goes all the way back to when Dorothy was reporting on them. And there's going to be something we missed there or something that hadn't been shown to us that's going to make sense for everything as well. The baby itself, I don't know. At this point, I was wondering if there was any mysticism or like really something supernatural going on with the show or if it was just all in everybody's head. But now I'm not too sure if it's just in everybody's head because after Leanne performs the ritual or the prayer, whatever you want to call it, incantation, that's when Sean is able to taste again. So now I'm thinking, was that baby ever a real baby or was it actually something that was conjured up that i mean that, that would be insane if it was that way and i think we're definitely gonna uh get those answers this season but if you ever watch my season one episode explanations i always said i don't know how they can uh keep going with this and make it longer but i could definitely see them uh doing that in this season so i don't think we're gonna get all the answers we're looking for according to uh, the creators of this series, it's actually going to go on for five seasons. So I think we're going to get a couple of answers sprinkled here and there. But I think we're going to get a bunch more questions dumped on us like we did the last season. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't hold my breath trying to figure out what's going on. But I do believe that we're going to get some more insight into the cult in this season. And I do believe Sean is going to be more entangled with them than he wants to believe because of everything that has happened and of course, as I said, he had that prayer that with the uncle, it was brought up in this episode and there is a reason it's being brought up because we're going to be talking about it a little later down the road. So let me know what you think about that as well. What are your thoughts? What are your theories? What do you think about Dorothy's descent right now? I, at points, I was just like, damn, she is just off the rock or so. Um, let me know your thoughts below and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe check out my other videos on Servant as well to get more of my thoughts and theories on all of the stuff happening in each episode make sure you're subscribed make sure you turn on the bell for notifications so you know when I drop a video as always uh, do it for me I'll see all of you next time turn on the bell make sure you follow me on Twitter as well at NerdRound and I'll see you next time stay safe stay positive If you're still listening, why don't you go ahead and check out the video on the left. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like, comment, share. I'll see you next time. Stay positive.